Hey guys, Lloyd here back again with another video and today I'm gonna show you how to safely clean any mechanical keyboard so that includes cleaning up your keycaps and all the gunk and junk that your keyboard collected through the months and years you've been using it. That way we can get your keyboard looking spanking brand new and possibly extend the lifespan of your keyboard for years to come. Now, although we're gonna be using this keyboard for demonstration purposes, this process applies to pretty much almost any mechanical keyboard out there. So whether you have a mechanical keyboard or a wireless mechanical keyboard, after watching this video, you'll be able to clean your mechanical keyboard and make them go from this to this. So to get that amazing result, there are nine items that you will need. The first item is actually not an item, but rather your patience, as this is somewhat of a tedious and time-consuming task, hence your utmost patience is definitely needed. The second item is you will need a camera or your phone to take a photo of your keyboard so you can remember where each keycaps will go when you put them back on. Trust me, it will make your life so much easier when you take a photo. The third one is you will need a keycap pulling tool to safely remove your keycaps out of your keyboard switches. The fourth and fifth item is you will need a decent sized bowl, access to warm water, and dish soap. Next is a clean microfiber towel or just any clean rag or towel you have laying around in your home. Next item is a clean soft bristle toothbrush or a clean vacuum brush to agitate the fine dust, crumbs, dead skin cells, as well as scoop up any hairs, whether it be your own hair or your pet's hair if you have one. The eighth item is a couple of cotton swab to pick up any stubborn dust particles or debris for hard to reach area. And the ninth and optional final items are a blow dryer for drying purposes, as well as rubbing alcohol to deep clean and remove any possible stains on your key. Keyboard. So these are all the items that you will need to get the job done and I'll be sure to make it really simple for you and I will link some of these products in the description down below or wherever the description is. They're not sponsored nor affiliate links so I won't earn commission so don't worry since I'm just trying to help the community out such as yourself. With that said guys, let's go ahead and get started. So first things first is you will need your keyboard to be unplugged or off and make sure that the power is not going through it. Next is you will need your camera to take a photo of your whole keyboard kind of like this so that you won't have a difficult time determining where each keycaps were originally at before you took them out. After that, you will need your keycap puller and from there, you can carefully start pulling your keycaps in which order you'd like. I recommend to set them aside where you won't lose them in case you accidentally literally drop one. And check it out guys, look at this keyboard underneath all that keycaps. It is dirty, lots of dust, hairs, collections and whatnot as well as some other debris and stains that I see right here. But before I clean this out guys, I'm gonna take you all to my sink as we are gonna clean the keycaps first and there will be a lot of multitasking involved with cleaning your mechanical keyboard. So let's get going. All right, folks, before we get started to this next step, make sure you have access to warm water first. This is crucial mainly because of cleaning the gunk out of your keycaps and whatnot. But with that said, let's go ahead and do that. If you already have access to warm water, then that's good for you. But if not, simply boil some water and put a little bit of cold water and make sure that it's skin temperature and whatnot. I already have my warm water ready, so I'll just get your bowl, warm water, and dish soap ready. Put a decent amount of dish soap into your bowl. I usually just eyeball it and fill your bowl up with warm water. Now that's done, give it a bit of a stir to agitate the dish soap and make it bubbly even more and put all your keycaps in the bowl and let it soak. While we're waiting, we can actually go ahead and set this aside kind of like next to my window right over here and let it soak for a while. So while we're waiting for that to soak guys, we can actually go ahead and start the keyboard cleaning process. This is where you will need your soft cream bristle toothbrush kind of like this one or simply a vacuum bristle that is clean as well like this one. You will need these tools to simply get the fine dust, hairs, and other debris off the keyboard. When doing this cleaning process, I recommend to go outside, flip the keyboard upside down a little bit so that the dust and other gunk fall off the ground outdoors and not on your floor or back to the internals of the keyboard. As this process agitates the particles as you can see in the video and we don't want those fine dust, hairs, and other gunk just being moved around and seeping back into the internals of the keyboard. Check it out you guys, we're not even done yet and it looks already very clean. Here's the before video and here's the after. But before we deep clean the keyboard, let's go ahead and revisit our keycaps that we were soaking earlier. So let's go ahead and put that right over here. Simply pour out the water, rinse it out thoroughly, and get your microfiber towel or regular rag and dump the keys there. Now this part is optional, but I'm a bit extra and I like to lay each keycaps to their natural keyboard position for air drying purposes, simply because it makes the air drying process a bit faster. So guys, while we are waiting for this to air dry for a little bit, we can actually go ahead and start the deep cleaning process of our keyboard. And for this process guys, I'm gonna be using the cotton swab with the rubbing alcohol. Now again, the rubbing alcohol is optional. You can just use the cotton swab 
but I spilled a bit of coffee on my keyboard a while ago and so this will need a bit of extra solution cleaning agent to get the stain out. Simply dip or pour a bit of rubbing alcohol on your cotton swab and from there start the deep cleaning process for the keyboard just like this. Now this may take a bit of time guys and so make sure each spaces and gaps are cleaned as best as you can. Good. Now that's done, let's revisit our air dried keycaps and go ahead and do a final deep drying by wiping the outer and inside parts of each keycaps. Make sure to take your time to wipe them dry thoroughly, but I'm a bit extra and so this is where the optional hair dryer comes in. If you're using the blow dryer route, make sure to put it at the lowest heat level and blow dry each keycaps, making sure you're holding the dryer 6 to 12 inches away from the keycaps. Again, we just want to dry it out and get extra water out, so there's no need to put it at extra high heat and blow dry it super close since that could potentially melt the keycaps caps plastics away and we don't want that. Alrighty guys, so once this whole drying process is done, again grab your phone and pull up the photo you took earlier and start the process of placing back each keycaps to their correct location on your keyboard. I already have the keycaps ready to go right over here and this process can take a while so take your time. Alright folks, as I said this process can take some time so let's go ahead and go to the finished product. Folks, look at how amazing these came out. They look brand spanking new as if I just unboxed it right out of their retail box. And remember what we had to work with, dust, hair, crumbs, and debris everywhere. And now take a look at it. Overall folks, this is an easy to do cleaning job you can be proud of and it just makes your typing, content creation, or gameplay that much more enjoyable when you get an amazing result like this. And there you go guys, those are the steps to safely clean your mechanical keyboard and the results piece for themselves. As always with my how-to videos, if this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed yet, consider hitting that subscribe button and I'll see you all in my next video. Peace. Ooh.